Today I'm going to show you a technique for taking derivatives of crazy looking functions like this one. So the first thing you're going to do is take the natural log of both sides. So natural log of y is equal to the natural log of this guy here, which is sine squared x tangent to the fourth x over x squared plus 1 squared. And why did we do that? We did that because we could break apart this right-hand side using natural log rules. And I'll do it on this board because there's not enough space. So we have the natural log of y, so that stays the same, is equal to, well, we could break apart multiplication with addition of logs and division with subtraction. And we could bring exponents in front. So 2 ln of sine of x plus 4 ln of tangent of x minus 2 ln of x squared plus 1. All right, and since each of these terms are separated by addition or subtraction now, we're not going to have to worry about the product or the quotient rule. We're just going to have to use the chain rule. So let's evaluate the derivative of both sides. The derivative of ln of y is, well, it's 1 over y times the derivative of the inside, which is y prime. Okay. On the right-hand side, the derivative of ln of sine of x is, well, 1 over sine of x times the derivative of the inside, which is cosine of x. So it's 2 cosine of x over sine of x. Similarly, what's the derivative of natural log of tangent of x? It's 1 over tangent of x times the derivative of tangent. What's the derivative of tangent of x? It's secant squared of x. minus 2. What's the derivative of the natural log of x squared plus 1? It's 1 over x squared plus 1 times the derivative of the inside, which is 2x. All right, now we want to get y prime by itself, so let's multiply both sides by y. So y prime is equal to y times this guy here. Okay, and we started with x as our variable, so we better end with x as our variable. So we could replace y with what we started with, right? y is equal to sine squared x tangent to the fourth x over x squared plus 1 squared. So y prime is equal to sine squared x tangent to the fourth x over x squared plus 1 squared times this guy here. And that's it. So I personally think it's a lot easier to take the derivative using this technique, logarithmic differentiation, than it would have been to do the product rule and the quotient rule and the chain rule all in one example. Let me know what you think. Are you a fan of logarithmic differentiation or old school product quotient and chain? Both will give you the right answer. All right. See you later. Bye bye.